Welcome back to Written Pixel, a place to learn, teach, inspire, and have fun. In this video, I'm going to show you some very simple tricks that you can use to hide drives, files, and folders. It's always a good practice to keep your private files safe, safely stored and hidden, away from prying eyes, especially in a multi-user environment. The steps we're going to take in this order are encryption first, then the registry setting, and that's pretty much it. So this computer is shared between three users. So I'm going to head over to the F drive and create a folder. This folder is going to have my top secret files. In here, I'm going to create a couple of files and I'm going to encrypt them. Not only am I going to encrypt the file, I'm going to encrypt the folder, the parent folder. So anything that's put into this folder after I encrypt that first file is automatically encrypted. If there are existing files in that folder, it will not retroactively encrypt the existing files. You will have to cut them out and paste them back in. Okay, so right click the file you want to encrypt, go to properties, in the general tab, hit advanced, and here you can encrypt contents to secure data, press OK, apply, and encrypt the file and its parent folder, press OK. Now you should get a pop-up in the bottom right. Press that pop-up, click back up now, and press next, press next here, leave the default, and set a password. You also want to choose the AES-256 encryption. It's a very strong encryption and name your key accordingly. Save it on your desktop for now. Now you can see there's a little lock icon on that file. That means it's encrypted. And any subsequent file you create in that folder now is also going to be encrypted. Next step is onto the registry. Search for regedit, open that up, and navigate to HKey Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, and current version. And once you're here, you can keep navigating down until you reach a folder called policies. And in that folder, there's another folder called explorer. So you want to create a new D word key. Okay. So create a new key, name it, no drives, open it up for editing and select decimal. So here's where you have to figure out which drives you want to lock and hide. In my case, I have three drives, F, T, and Z. If you just want to hide a single drive, for example, your C drive, it's a third letter in the alphabet. So it'd be two to the power of two, which would be four. The only value you'd put in that key would be four. But in my case, I'm doing it to multiple drives. Do not do this on the C drive. Very important. Do not do this on the C drive. Okay, so in order to get the decimal value, you have to take the position of the drive letter in the alphabet. So for example, the formula is two to the power of n minus one. So two to the power of six minus one. That gives us 32. Now drive letter T is a 20th letter in the alphabet. So we do two to the power of 19 because it's the letter minus one. Okay, and that gives us 524,288. For the letter Z, it's the 26th letter in the alphabet. So it's two to the power of 25. And the number is 33,554,000. 432. So for these three drive letters, we sum them and put that value in the registry key. Of course, if you want to hide more drive letters, you would get their respective bit position and value and sum it all together. Next, create another D word key and name it no view on drive. And in this one, we put the exact same decimal value. No drives basically doesn't show the drive in the file explorer and no view on drives prevents the contents of that drive from being displayed. So once you reboot, you will notice that the drives are now gone, but you can still copy files to that drive and specifically into that encrypted folder. Let's create a script that will push files into that folder and encrypt it automatically. So I'm creating a bunch of random text files that are not encrypted, and we're going to see that they get encrypted. So now create a text file, add this command, make sure in this command, you know, the name of the destination folder and the source folder, save it, rename the extension as dot BAT and run it. Remember to delete these files or any files that you've copied over that have sensitive data. Now, if I'm logging in as another admin on this computer, I can easily undo all of this. I can bring those drives back if I know what I'm doing. But one thing I will not be able to do is view the files that have been encrypted by any other user, no matter what. 
Just a couple of important things to take note of before I end this video. Do not save your encryption key on your desktop. Put it on an USB key or something that is not on this computer because if somebody gains access to that key, they can effectively view all your encrypted files. Number two, do not do this on the C drive. Very important. Do not do this on the C drive. That is it for this video. If this was useful in any way, please take a moment to hit that like and possibly subscribe. Thank you.